finished the fourth day of summer school. We have seven more days to go and I'm already exhausted. The kids are sweet. We only have three classes but it's pretty intense and now I'm trying to throw in some brain breaks because I was like what kind of miracles will I create in a full 11 days so summer school is 11 days so it's broken down into three weeks because we only work Monday through Thursday and then Fridays we have off and we only work to one and today this is the earliest I'm leaving I'm out of here and I'll prepare for the next day when I get to the hotel so like I said before at the moment I'm at an extended stay hotel while Bobby's here for her internship that she's loving so I just want to get to the hotel get these clothes off relax the kids love the outfit today um, kids that aren't even my students so when you go to the lunchroom and stuff so I, it's cute I always say the kids the kids love it the kids love the sparkle I was asked today to so for the next school year ooh, let me roll these windows up child for the next school year I w was going to have sev all seventh grade so this school year that I just ended I had seven and eighth grade so I was like okay I don't have you know two different curriculums whatever just seventh grade you know advance and level so now I've been asked if I'd be willing to do sixth grade and seventh grade <laughs> So I'm like, okay, and plus I really wanted to try sixth grade, but I, I did, but I didn't. I think I enjoy sixth grade because they have a little personality. So I'll have a, a sixth grade advance, and I think one level, and then all seventh grade advance. I was like, okay, all right, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. And so I'm a little excited to see how that goes. And Although, six um, advanced classes, they're not, you don't get as much behavior, but you have to have the rigor to challenge those kids in six, um, in any advanced class. If you're not pushing them, then, you know, having them think on a deeper level and so on and so forth. It doesn't necessarily mean extra work. It means having them do more critical thinking. So I'm all for that. They was like, that was that was the selling point we we're gonna use for you to see if you wanna do it. I said, but I don't wanna move classrooms. <clears throat> I said, I have to get a U-Haul. And that, they said, I don't, I don't think you're gonna have to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. That'll be a little interesting to have a sixth, seventh grade split. But we'll see how that goes. I was just asked that today. But baby, I'm getting ready to hit this road. Oh, we have uh, we made spaghetti last night in a crock pot. So Bobby and I are gonna be crock pot experts. Not a crock pot, uh, um, pressure cooker. <clears throat> pressure cooker came out decent. It was good. So I just ate it for lunch, and I ate a late lunch. So I'm not sure I'm gonna want it again later. So maybe I'll want it again for lunch tomorrow. So with that said, let me hit the road because it is hot in this car, and I will check in with you later. What's up, Asa Banks? So I'm back. I made it to the hotel. Hotel, motel, holiday inn. Friend, then I, I just can't remember words, guys. So I heat up some more spaghetti. So that's what a sister is eating, okay? Because I want to eat my chips and pretzels, but I was like, no, Joy, just go ahead and eat. Even though I just ate this, I was just like, just... Just go ahead and eat another plate. Go on, Joy, go on. And remember, this spaghetti was made in the pressure cooker. Baby, you better ask somebody. And then I put some garlic bread in my little mini air fryer that I keep in the car. So I just brought all the stuff into this extended stay hotel. So on my drive, 
on my drive home, on my drive here <laughs> from work. It's about a 45, 50 minute drive. And thank goodness we get on at 1, 1 30. Because, baby, I would probably be in traffic forever. But I can totally understand why certain kids are in summer school. And I don't want to keep talking about it, but it's like you can miss so many days. And they just pass you right along. Just I, I just don't get it. I don't, maybe it makes sense. I don't get it. She's good. You got my bike? She's good. Pressure cooker. We made this in about, you know, after we ground up the turkey. This was done in about seven minutes. Seven minutes. Big bet. You can't beat that with a baseball bat. Mm-hmm. So listen, 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 listen. Remember, I'm on my phone, so I hope this is okay. So I was thinking on the way back on the drive. Somebody made a comment. I should have looked to see who it was before. And I agree with them. There was like no woman or man should ever have to go through anybody's phone. And I agree. I do agree. And I was like, if you feel like something's not right, then nine times out of 10, it probably, you're probably, your instincts are probably right. But you also, and then there's that percentage that you could just be wrong, be paranoid or whatever. But you have some people that are so good at lying that it makes you doubt yourself. Well, maybe they're so good at it. Just like, I'm not comparing it to, but just like a man who may occasionally hit their girl or the girl hits the guy, whatever, whatever the case may be. And then they're so sorry, I'll never do it again, never do it again. So you listen to that and you want to believe that. Will it happen? Who knows? Maybe it's some real regret. But baby, there are some people who are very convincing. I just think of, I think it's called the Stockholm Syndrome, where the victim starts to fall in love with the captain. There have been plenty of occasions that has happened in real life. Plenty of people who are manipulated into staying in a relationship. And I remember in my relationship with my children's father, There was mental abuse. I was like, well, I was making excuses. I was like, well, he's not hitting me. He's not hitting me. You know, so, mm, mm, you know, I did a lot of him and her harm. With that, same thing. But when I had my proof and you put your hands on me and you took it a step further, that was game over. Sometimes just seeing that proof to let yourself know you are not crazy, no one should ever have to go through anybody's phone. I know with my last relationship, I was in that relationship for 10 years, never had any of these feelings, ever, 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 ever. Never went through their phone, never went through mine. And if they did, go ahead. Never I was hiding phones, never. Never, I just... I'm just saying I'm thankful my 10 year relationship, we didn't deal with that. We didn't, we didn't deal with that. It was, we dealt with other stuff, but we didn't deal with that. And um, we didn't deal with that with my kid's dad. 
no we i didn't deal with that so this is my this is my first relationship with somebody played me like that i think just my first relationship you know well or situationship where i was played now there was one boy back in the day he lived in east new york i lived in brooklyn I was in love with Forrest, right? Um, I could have been about 18. Yeah, I was around 18. And he lived in my sister's uh, projects. And, but he straight up told me he was with somebody else. I was like, I was crushed. I was hurt. <laughs> but he didn't string me along. And now that I'm looking back on hindsight, I'm very appreciative of that. Don't string me along. Just let me go about my business. Let me do me. So I think sometimes the manipulation is so good that we want to believe the person. You see all the signs, but I guess it's a, a part of denial. So for me, seeing the proof, that's what I needed. And that's, and that's what was revealed. I had to see it because some people can be so manipulative and such a good compulsive liar that they can wiggle their room, wiggle their way out of certain things. And I think that was the situation I was in because there were lots of clues, lots of clues. They were a good wiggle worm and I was probably in denial and didn't want to believe certain things. So my bad, once again, my bad. Call me stupid, I'm okay with that, I'm okay. So, um, so I think for me, like I said, and I agree with the person, no woman nor man should ever have to go through a person's phone, their bag, their things, but if something is not right, because you could be wrong, you could be. But sometimes just seeing that proof is a way to seal the deal for sure. Okay, here's the proof. Now what you gonna say? Nothing. You can't. I see it right here. Here the receipts in your face. Now what you gonna say? And so for me, that's what I needed. I needed that. So. And then you see the other things. Oh, I bet them. Yeah, then too. Mm-hmm. I bet them. And then when I was thinking, I was like, there was something that was in the very, very like within months of the last summer happened. Wiggled out of that. I was like, mm-mm. Story made no sense. But I let it go. Let it go. Mm-hmm. I let it go. So the signs were there. I was just naive, stupid, or whatever it was. But, like I said, when it's time for things to be revealed and the lesson has been learned, sometimes we go through things to learn a lesson. Sometimes we go through things to teach us something very valuable that will last with us for a lifetime. Cause I, I really don't think I ever had this experience before where I actually caught somebody like that. Never, never. Well, thank goodness that my worth was valued with the others. Too bad it wasn't with this one. But I'm smart enough to know my own value. And once I saw the truth, I, I saw signs. I was able, I'm able to dip in peace, dip in peace, dip in peace. And don't look back. Who crying over that? Nobody. Uh uh. Go ahead. I wish. I wish you the best. Bye. Now you. Now you free. Free to do you. Give us free. Mm hmm. There were plenty of signs. Plenty of signs. But I want to address that. But I understand, once again, you shouldn't have to feel like you're not secure in your 
situationship, relationship, a friendship, or whatever that may be. You should, no one should ever have to feel that way like you have your doubts. You shouldn't. I don't got time for that. When I was young, I probably played, played, played the field a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? When I was younger, but not at my, my damn age. Who got time for that? You looking to be with someone, you know, possibly to grow old with or something like that. I don't got no time for no games. Go ahead with that. So, you know, but there's always somebody better. Somebody that's always preferring them than you. And it's up to your mate to decide if they want to take that, that chance with somebody else. Mm -hmm. There's always somebody that's going to have been prettier, have a better body, better personality, better job, better career. There's always going to be something better. But as humans, do we always look for the better? At some point, you get what you get and value what you have and don't throw a fit. Get what you get and value what you have and don't throw a fit. Find somebody that's going to come. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll stop now. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, All right, y'all. So, keep your eyes open, your ears open. Trust your instincts and baby. If you need for your closure, if you need your receipt, it'll be revealed to you. And know your worth. Know what you're going to put up with. And know what you're not. Mm -mm. Keep it pushing, baby, because there's always somebody else out there for you. But honey, I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm not looking this week. <laughs> Maybe next week, not this week. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, playing, playing. I'm playing, playing. <laughs> All right, y'all. I got one more piece of garlic bread. Then I'm going to curl up in this bed. I will sleep you on that dry cone. Sleep, babe. Ooh, child. Probably watch a movie. I saw something called The Banker. So I may check that out. And then I'll wake up later and get some work done. So I'm prepared for tomorrow. I just think my sleep was broken. Um, dealing with all that drama. Talking to this person, talking to y'all, you know, editing videos and stuff, giving y'all the tea, giving y'all the tea to break down. Okay. I'm tired. I need a nap. <laughs> so I want to get full and cozy. You know how sometimes you just want that comfort food? That's what I wanted. And I take this bun down and put my bonnet on, child. Yes, I am. Put my scarf on and my bonnet. I got one more section of this hair to braid. So I did different sections. Or it'll stress me out. So I got one more section to go. So maybe I'll do a few braids while I watch the banker. Just a few, maybe I'll do 10 <laughs> and then uh, call it a day. All right, y'all, I love you. And if you made it this far into the video, I do appreciate you, you know, being supportive. I mean, in life, you're going to make mistakes. All, all decisions I make or all decisions you make are not going to be the best. You know, we, we live and we learn, we grow. Hopefully, you know, I, I will definitely grow from this. Trust my instincts a little sooner, act on them a little sooner. Maybe do a little detective work a little sooner, you know what I'm saying? But for me, um, I, I never want to be in a situation ship ever again where I have that always have those doubts. And and I'm always up front in the beginning. Don't lie to me. Don't lie. I say that up front. Just 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 put put all the cards on the table. Don't lie. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm too old for that. I'm too old for the games. Bye. Just let me go and do me. You do you. Let me do me. Be, let me be free. You be free. And do you. So, all right. Keep your head up out there. I'm keeping mine up. And I, you know, I'm about to eat another piece of bread and curl up in this bed. <laughs>